right, fishy folks. Happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a great week. It's only Wednesday, but positively that much closer to the weekend. Guys, before we get started with this tremendous video, do me a favor, go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently boop the notification bell and check out my pals, Lisa and Martin from supercichlids.com where they're having a ginormous sale. Check it out, on sale, free gifts, it's spectacular. All right, guys, do me a favor. Go grab a snack and a beverage and pull up your chair. Put on your thinking caps. It's Guppy Care Day. That's right, folks. How to care for guppies. The Michael's Fish Room way. Stand by. All right, fishy folks. I hope you have your snack and a beverage. As always, in the comments down below, let me know what you're having. You know I'm a fat guy and I like to talk about food. Today's video is on basic, basic guppy care and maybe breeding. First things first, when you're looking for guppies to buy, if you're looking in a big box store or even most mom and pop shops, just know those guppies probably have some sort of disease or parasite. Unfortunately, it's a fact of nature in our hobby. Most of the fish farms in Florida deal with this problem every day and deal with losses every day, but really don't fix it. What I recommend is finding a local breeder or a reputable online seller. Could be me, doesn't have to be me. Could be somebody like Doug Gray or a reputable seller on Aquabid to buy homebred guppies that more than likely are hardy and healthy. Right now we're looking at our one of my mutt guppy tanks. I have five mutt guppy tanks. I filled uh, five five pack orders of mutt guppies this morning. Um, and I found some really beautiful specimens and that led me to make this video. Mutt guppies are one of my favorite guppy in the whole world. I really enjoy the variety, all the different colors, shapes, and sizes. If you're looking for uh, a good community fish or a small nano tank and you don't want to break the bank, mutt guppies are where it's at. Mutt guppies might be called fancy guppies in other stores, but here at Michael's Fish Room, I call them mutt guppies. What makes them a mutt guppy, you may say? Exactly what you think. A plethora of genetics thrown into the tank, and boom, that's what you get. Beautiful looking fish, all different colors, shapes, and sizes. Let's talk about basic guppy care. In my opinion, the minimum tank size for three male guppies would be a five gallon tank. However, I wouldn't recommend anything less than 10 gallons. It's much easier to maintain 10 gallons of water than it is five gallons of water. However, if you are gonna keep a five gallon tank and three guppies is the maximum I would recommend, it would also be three male guppies. If you have a female in there, you'll be over on a fry before you can say, Michael was right. Three male guppies may be aggressive towards each other, so you're going to want some hiding places and some sight breaks. I recommend doing that with live plants. Any type of live plant, whether it be moss or something easy like anacharis or anubis, or even val or dwarf sag or something like that will be perfect. However, as I said, I don't recommend anything less than 10-gallon tank. No matter what tank size you have, you're going to need a lid. Guppy are jumpers. If guppies jump, you could easily lose them, they could get stinky, and of course, be dead. And nobody wants a dead guppy. Let's talk about your tank setup. I happen to like uh, sponge filters. You can use any filtration system you want. If you use a hang-on back or a canister or anything with an intake, make sure you have an intake sponge or some sort of filter on the intake so that you don't suck up any potential tender and delicious guppy fry or even smaller guppies. It could get messy. Water parameters. Guppies, especially hardy and healthy guppies, will thrive in a variety of water parameters. I personally keep my water somewhere around 772 pH. It's on the hard side. Um, and of course, my water parameters are always zero, zero, and probably close to zero. In your fish tank, your water parameters will probably be zero ammonia, zero nitrite, and hopefully under 40 nitrate. They'll be fine. 
As far as pH, like I said, they can handle a wide variety, anywhere from 6 to 8. 6 is pretty low, though, however. They probably won't do as well as if it was higher, closer to 7. And also, as I said, they do like it on the hard side. As far as temperature goes, guppies are pretty hardy and can easily handle upper 60s. They will be slower, breeding will be slower, growing will be slower, but certainly they can handle it. I'm fine, don't worry about me. However, I prefer water temperature somewhere in the upper 70 range. Most of my tanks are somewhere between 76 and 80. They can go all the way up to, I would say, 82, 83, any more than that, and they fall apart pretty quickly. And again, nobody wants that. Guppy tank mates. Eh, almost any fish is a good tank mate for a guppy. However, a good rule of thumb with any fish keeping hobbyist is if the fish can fit in another fish's mouth, eventually it will be a tasty treat. So certainly you can have guppies and smaller tetras or barbs, and you can have other live bearers like platies, mollies, or swordtails. But no, if the swordtails, mollies, or platies get big enough and the guppies are small enough, eventually no more guppy tasty treat if you want to breed guppies or if you don't want to breed guppies my suggestion would be buy all males if you can't buy all males many people will not sell just males I am one of them buy whatever you have to buy and either don't offer them many hiding spots so that the adult guppies eat the baby guppies or have other fish in the tank that will take care of guppy fry patrol for you. As an example, in a community tank with, say, female bettas or a female betta, and guppies, and maybe swordtails, the swordtails and the female betta will do a good job of hunting the guppy fry. Guppy fry are tender and delicious, and they will eat them. Trust me. Let's talk about if you want to breed guppies. Breeding guppies is pretty simple. You basically need three things. A male and a female guppy, and a tank of water, and that's it. However, if you want to be successful at breeding guppies, a place to hide, clean water, high quality food, and perhaps some Barry White, and you'll have guppy fry approximately every 28 days. Let's talk about food. Guppies will eat almost anything, but as always, I recommend high quality food Something like Kobo Aquatics Ultra Guppy Pellet, which is my favorite guppy food right now. I also really enjoy the Kobo Aquatics Smartemia, which is very, 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 very fine and good for guppy fry and little guppy mouths, as well as flake food, whether it be from Kobo Aquatics or Ocean Nutrition or any other high quality flake food brand. For frozen food, I really enjoy feeding them frozen bloodworms frozen baby brine shrimp but my all-time favorite to feed guppies are frozen cyclops they're small and delicious and the guppies go crazy for them <clears throat> a couple other things to note about guppies as i've said they are jumpers they are pretty hardy however you do need to keep an eye on water parameters as always a little ammonia a little nitrite and they will fall apart rather quickly as will most most other fish all right, fishy folks, that does it for my guppy extravaganza basic guppy care. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments. And uh, if you want to buy guppies, go ahead and go to my website, michaelsfishroom.com. Hope you enjoy. Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a great week. Guys, you know the drill. Before we get started, do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button if you haven't done so already. Gently, boop, the notification bell. And check out my pals, Lisa and Martin from SuperCichlids.com. Awesome prices. Superb surface. Surface? God damn it. Hey, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Guys, before we get started, do me a favor. Go ahead and obliterate that subscription button. Gently. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do gently. I just. Hey, 
Hi, fishy folks, and happy Water Change Wednesday to you. Hope everyone's having a great week. It's hump day. That means we're that much closer to the weekend. Fishy folks, do me a favor. Before you get started, do me a favor. Before you get started, I'm the one that's getting started. You're the one that's watching. Take 98. <laughs> Breeders are equal. Some really take care of their fish. Some maybe buy from local... Uh, I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. However... My guppies are pretty hardy, and who cares?